Hey guys, welcome to Game Jam, and today I want to do a video talking about Oasis. Oasis is the Overwatch AI skill improvement simulator that the coder recently released uh, and is available for us to use. So I want to talk a little bit about it. So what is it exactly? Uh, basically, it is a program designed to look at your career aggregated stats for uh, for for competitive in the current season, and it uses that to make uh, predictions about your current SR ranking as well as suggestions for how you can improve your game. Um, so why should you use it? Basically, if you want to improve the perform your performance in game, uh, this is a good tool to supplement whatever else you're already doing for training. So um, I would not suggest using it just by itself with nothing else. Uh, but if you combine it with VOD analysis, it can be a really helpful tool for understanding your own gameplay. Um, the other thing that's important too is some, some of you may have used a site like Overbuff. Uh, which I still use. Uh, what's nice about Overbuff is it shows a bunch of stats, but what isn't nice about it is it doesn't necessarily tell you which stat you should improve amongst all these stats. Yeah, I can see that I'm good here, or I'm kind of medium there, but which stat is most important, I can't really tell at a, at a glance from this. Uh, the other thing that's important here too is these stats are usually compared as an overall. Uh, the way Oasis is designed, it's more focused around how you should be performing at your own rank. Because what the machine learning has done is it sometimes different ranks play at different things. And you may have seen that in my recent da uh, data analysis videos. But let's get back into Oasis. Uh, the first thing that's going to happen if you come up here and something goes wrong, if you type in, you need to have in the correct capitalization. And of course, you need to have the number after name. So you have a full sign in name. Uh, and then pick your server. Uh, what's important here, does it work for console? Is Yes, it does. I think the console, there's less usernames available for it, so the machine learning may not be as great as recommending on there, but the more people who submit, uh, the more the, the, the machine will learn uh, faster. So we're gonna dive right in. So we're gonna take a look at the stuff. Uh, so let's go over some other questions that might pop up. Uh, what happens if I didn't play comp this season? If you did not play competitive this season, the tool may still work. It'll pick up your latest season, at least that's what we've seen. Uh, but I would not take the recommendations as seriously because heroes change, metas change, and uh, the stats may not be as relevant as they were when you played. Um, the other thing too is does it pick up quick play stats? No, it does not pick up uh, quick play stats. I think they're talking about it, but as of right now, it is designed to pick up the current competitive season uh, mostly. So you're going to see here when you look at this list, uh, some of the heroes are kind of grayed out and some of them are, are bright. The heroes that are grayed out and Stro is NA, you, I do not have enough playing time on that hero. You need to have at least 30 minutes as of right now to get a recommendation. But if you do, you will get a recommendation. You can go take a look at it. So what you do is you click on the hero and it pops up this little handy sheet. What it does, it gives you a recommended SR, basically saying what they think your SR should be for this hero. And then it gives you your best and worst traits. And what's nice about this is you can visualize how you are according to your group. So my target priority is really high. The grouping firing is toward the mid range. And then the things that I need to work on, halt use, mechanical skill and positioning are right there on the list. Um, what's really nice about this tool again is it's giving a recommendation and something that's very actionable. Uh, as opposed to being something like positioning it's not telling you what it's about, this actually tells you exactly what stats it's using to make that, that uh, information. So this one is based off of offensive assists. So if I can get more offensive assists in a game, I will be improving my halt use. Mechanical skill, this one's based off of critical hits, critical accuracy, and accuracy. If I can raise those stats, those are the stats I should be focusing on, as opposed to the target priority over here. My hero damage is high enough, my barrier damage is high enough, and my objective kills are high enough. Um, so this is sort of information is actionable information that you can do something with. As opposed to overbuff, which tells you your averages, it doesn't necessarily point you in the right direction. It just says, well, th these are your numbers. It's cool. Um, and that's why I really like this tool and highly recommend you check it out. This is the second version of this tool, so it is better than it was before. And the more people that put their data in to be, um, to be analyzed, the more, the better this tool will get at making recommendations. Not to mention just with time, uh, things will get better. 
So um, if you ever see a recommendation that is very high or very low in comparison to your current rank, like for example, I'm currently right about 2,500 and the junk rat is recommended 3,000, it sometimes is going to predict, it's just saying you have some really good stats. Uh, especially um, you might see here like, well, you got a bunch of low stats here. Uh, but if these stats are high enough in important categories, these low stats may not matter as much. And so that's why it's giving me a high recommendation. It can happen. Um, and the same thing vice versa. If you see a low recommendation for character, it's just saying that you don't seem to play that hero as well. But this doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad player. It just means it, the st you don't see it in the stats necessarily. Uh, and the other thing too is a note is that each hero has a different rank. There is an overall rank for your for your overall account, um, but this can give you a little bit of idea of what it what this tool thinks is your best and worst performing heroes out of the heroes you play. So you can see in this list here that my my mercy play isn't that great. Uh, my diva play actually isn't that great. Oh, I thought the, my diva play would be stronger, but it is saying my Farah and Junkrat are strong, uh, and my Zenyatta and uh, Roadhog are pretty decent too. So, please give this tool a try. I will make sure to put a link to the Oasis Discord uh, down below, as well as to my Discord as well. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out there. You can also leave a comment, and I'll be happy to answer your questions uh, and see if this tool can help you improve your own gameplay. Try it out and let me know what you think. Um, and I also want to do a really big shout out to the guy who made this tool, uh, the coder. Uh, he is the one who's providing me all the data for my data analysis videos. And so uh, the more this tool does well and gets supported, the more data I'll have to process, the more we can analyze the data, and the more we can learn about Overwatch. So I'm really excited to see this tool take off and hopefully uh, you guys can enjoy it too. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.